land on your house. Uh, people with screenings on their pools and all that have had those damage. And they've had to report all that. So, you know, to, to their insurance will take care of it, but it's still, it's just, it's bad. It's wow. really bad. Locally, people who live in the bridges in West Chase say they've had enough. Vultures are ruining their property and their property values. Yeah, you know, they went to the West Chase Community Development District asking for a solution to this problem, and tonight uh, they're going to talk a little bit more about it, and they're going to have some fireworks. At least that's what's expected. News Channel 8's Chip Osowski in the neighborhood with the latest on this. And good evening to you both. The West Chase CDD went to the USDA, which is the only agency authorized to deal with a situation like this. That agency is going to send an employee here tonight to set off fireworks to, to scare some of these vultures away. If that doesn't work, some of them will be shot. The plan to get rid of these black vultures in West Chase seems to be ruffling a lot of feathers and not the intended ones. The weaponry in right behind residential homes. Steve Netta doesn't believe shooting the vultures if they aren't scared away is a safe move. One person was like, well, what kids are going to get shot? I don't know. Why don't I put your kids in the backyard and, while they're doing it and see if you care? And this is a problem West Chase residents have been dealing with for years. These are big, bad, ugly birds. Turkey vultures seen here in... This was a News Channel 8 report from 2009, 13 years ago. Many had the same complaints, roof damage and ripped screens. They, like, teared it up. Tear, 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 tear. Sometimes, like, there'll be this, like, running sound. It sounds like someone's up on your roof. Uh, you come outside and look up, and there's, like, ten vultures on your roof. Cameron Correa is also expressing concern about the plan. I'm an animal lover, so I don't really, I don't want them to hurt the vultures, but I also can't have a flock of vultures destroying my roof. Of course I'm upset. It's unnecessary. It's violent. Kat Waisaki does not live in West Chase, but runs an animal rescue organization and is outraged. Of course, we're going to do what we can to not allow this to happen. And I did spoke, speak with a representative with the West Chase CDD. He told me the association held a number of meetings trying to figure out alternate ways of dealing with this situation. And that's when the CDD eventually went to the USDA. Stacy. Yeah, Chip, this is a head scratcher. You, you don't hear about this in other parts of the Bay Area. Has the USDA given you any details as to how long it's going to last or anything else? And this may be in the too much information category, but I'm going to tell you anyway, the plan right now is to set off detonations morning and dusk every day for two weeks. If after that two weeks there are still vultures left out there, they may shoot some of them, then they're going to leave the bodies out there on that island to try and deter other vultures from coming back. Ooh, Sorry for that. That is grim. All right. Thank you, Chip.